All right, dear friends, good evening and welcome to today's meeting. Uh, we just have a few days actually to come to the end of this year. And the question I want to ask this evening is, what are your plans? What are your plans? What are your plans? If you have heard about cryptocurrency and you have not taken action yet, then you are missing out a lot. You are missing out a lot. And one good thing about the crypto space is that it doesn't stop you from going about your daily activities. It doesn't stop you from going to work. It doesn't stop you from doing your business. It all depends on the way you want to get involved. In whichever way, um, there are over 10 ways, different ways one can get involved. This is a, these are personally different ways that I have actually implemented or I have tested investing in crypto in the crypto space that have made me some um, profit over the, the years that I've been in crypto. And there are different ways you can get involved going about your daily activities and still make profit in it. It could be trading, it could be farming, it could be you know buying and selling, it could be getting involved with P2P trading. Um, P2P what it simply means is you stand as a merchant who sell to those who want to, you know, those who are coming in newly in crypto, they have their local currency, they have their Naira, they have their dollar, they have, you know, all, all of the currency, you can mention them around the world and they want to buy crypto. And buying that crypto, they will need to convert these currencies. And there are people who do this like a full-time business. Theirs is just there in some of these exchanges that I normally recommend like OKS. Uh, you can become a merchant in, with OKS with just $3,000. And you can be selling, you stand as a merchant who buy crypto from people and sell crypto to them um, in their local currency. You collect this money from them via bank transfers and the rest, and you sell this to them. So there are a lot of ways you can get involved with the crypto space. Before the end of this year, what I will advise if you are in this meeting and you are not taking action, then you are missing out. And those of you who are still uh, very skeptical about the crypto space, you have, um, you have your phones and you just want to give it a try. And this is the issue that I've had or the problem that I've had, um, I often have with a lot of persons who um, you know, want to get involved. At the end of the day, uh, they, don't, they, are, they become indecisive. They don't make up their mind whether to go in fully or to go in. And I can understand why this is. I can understand why this is. Um, that is because even now, I think uh, yesterday it was in the chat, somebody said that uh, yeah, he or she was, you know, uh, scammed three months ago or something like that. Even now, as I'm speaking with today, a lot of persons who have been scammed online. There are a lot of celebrities now that a lot of scammers are using to promote one particular online investment or the other. And believe me, uh, just trust, trust these motivational speakers. What they do, uh, the cash they use is that you know, with this motivational code that if your money is not working for you while you are sleeping, then you are wrong. And at the end of the day, they promote the wrong idea of this money working for you while you are sleeping. And these wrong ideas are over the past years, we, we've seen platforms that have come and say, give us your money, we are trading for us, we'll pay you um, every day. Give us your money, we are trading binaries, we'll pay you every day or 10% every day. Give us your money, we are trading crypto, will pay you 10% every day. It happens a lot. Even as I'm speaking right now, there are a lot of persons who have been scammed online. I have been scammed several times. And at the end of the day, I made up my mind that instead of lazing about and then telling, um, uh, giving my money to some platform that I don't have a guarantee on, telling you that uh, they will give you 10% in a day. Well, when I started going into crypto, and I noticed that with my 10,000 with my $5,000 invested somewhere, I can make more than 10% 10, 10 trading crypto myself in a month. I can make more than 10% trading crypto myself in a month. And in some of these platform, I've had a lot of persons, or I know personally a lot of persons who invested millions of Naira, millions of Naira. I've seen people who invested up to $100,000, $200,000 in a platform. Like we are talking about 50 to 100 million naira in a platform. In a platform. And there is one that I'm currently doing, though that one is still paying, but it takes like two to three months before they will pay you. And even when they pay you the withdrawals you are making, they will take like 30% of the money before they will even pay you. 
And I know a lot of persons in that platform who have over 500 million that are invested in the platform just because they want 10 to 20% every month. And if you have that kind of money just doing spot trading alone, spot trading when it comes to investing in cryptocurrency is the only safest way you can buy and don't lose money. And when I say buy, you don't lose money is that it deals with time, with patience. Let's say you buy crypto right now somewhere around here. Um, you saw that there was a bull run somewhere around here and then the crypto started spiking up and you bought, when it got to, let's say 64,100, you bought crypto. And then buying the next moment, it started going down. It happens a lot in the crypto space. The next moment it started going down. Your uh, investment worth 61 or $64,000 will now be worth $62,000. You are losing like $2,000 already. And then it goes down again. It will now be worth $60,000. Remember, this, is, this happened just this evening when Bitcoin dropped just all the way from $62,500 down to $60,000. So you bought here at sixty four, dollars and then it keep dropping to sixty. dollars You have lost like $60,000 just in a day. Not just in a day, in a few minutes. In a few minutes, you can lose this amount of money. But the good thing is that Let's say you bought one Bitcoin at this price. You still have that one Bitcoin. You still have that one Bitcoin. So that is when I say spot trading is the safest way you can get involved into crypto trading nowadays uh, without losing your money. The only thing is that the price will definitely go down because the, the, the crypto space market is a very volatile one. So it can go down to nothing. It can go up to something in just a moment. All you just need to wait uh, to do is be patient with that. But in doing all of this thing manually, you need to know what you know the chat is all about. You need to know how to read candlesticks. You will need to know technical analysis. You will need to have some of these paid indicators that will tell you when to buy, where to sell. And even when you have these indicators, you will need to set a lot. You need to be online. You need to look at the laptop, just like you're seeing my screen now, to know where the market is going, when to buy, when to sell, and when to take profit and when to stop loss. All of these things, you need them to be able to trade the market efficiently. You need to have your own personal strategies to know when you are coming in and when you are, you, are, you are leaving the market. But for beginners or for those who don't have the time to do this, that is why we introduce the robot that does this trading for you. And the beautiful thing about this robot is that it works with this largest and known global exchange, crypto trading exchange in the world. We talk about Huobi, and then we'll talk about Binance. So these are the two exchanges that you can use. And these exchanges has been around for a while now. And since the inception of this exchange, nobody has lost money with the exchange. If you can trust your bank to have a fixed deposit in your bank, you can actually trust some of these exchanges and not just any exchange. And that is the beautiful thing I like about, you know, some of these robots that are using API to trade on this exchange. There are some exchange that in the past has run away with people's money. I know some local Nigerian exchanges that say they are into crypto trading and before you know it, they'll fold up. But these are known global exchanges that Prime Board works with. All you just need to do, that fear of people running away with your money or the platform running away with your money is no longer there because your money is safe with this exchange, with any of these exchange that you decide to use. The year is running out. We just have less than 100 days to, 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 to round up this year. You can gain a lot from it. You can gain a lot from crypto getting started today. So one of the ways I actually advise people to uh, get started in crypto space is trade cryptocurrency. Because some of these platforms you give your money to what the cash they use in, you know, um, convincing and confusing you to give in your money is that they'll do the trading for you. You don't need to do anything. And that is a true definition of allowing your money to work for you because you are not doing anything. And that is where a lot of us, the kind of lifestyle a lot of us want to live. We just want to wake up, drink tea, eat food, sleep, and then the money keeps flowing in. And that is what this robot that can actually help you in doing. So if I go ahead and share my screen um, on, on my phone screen, you'll see result. I've been doing this oftentimes um on, on this zoom course to make sure that you get to understand that this can actually or this board is actually working and it can work for you i shared the screen um a few days ago saying that if you have invested in bnb sometime in 2017 when the price was just 12 cents 
BNB that is about 540 or 550 dollars today. Sometime in 2017, it was at 12 cents. If you have invested a thousand dollars then, um, you would have gotten about 8,680 BNB. And then your money today, your work today would have been $4.5 million. $4.5 million. Is it million or billion or whatever? Then if you have invested, let's say in 2017, same 2017 in BTC, when the price of BTC was around $4,000, um, you invested $1,000 then just buying and holding. You were not sticking, you were not investing or mining with it. You would have gotten 0 0.25 BTC. And today you would have worth 15,000 USDT or $15,000. Then if you have invested in Ethereum, that's in 2017 when the price was just $8. The same Ethereum that I'm mentioning now that is at $4,000, you would have invested like $1,000 and you would have gotten about 125 Ethereum. And today you would have been worth 550,000. This is when you, you have a long-term gold with cryptocurrency. And the beautiful thing about it is that the price will continue to go high because the more crypto become older, the more cryptocurrency become older, the more people get to know about it and the more people get to invest in it. And because it has a limited supply, it's not like uh, even Shiba Inu that has over 1 billion, is it 1 billion? I can't remember that total supply again. But Shiba Inu, why it's delaying to increase is because it has a lot of, it has a lot of, um, um, a lot of this coin, but because of the burning process and the rest, they will keep reducing this until Shiba Inu one day, maybe in, the, in years to come, if there is a solid project that is backing that off actually. If there is a solid project that is backing it off, one day it will become 50 cent, one day or maybe one of these days it will become a dollar. And it will only benefit those who are holding on to it for a long term um, purpose. So another the basic coins that you should be looking at, you can still buy Bitcoin today, actually. At a long-term investment, you can still buy Bitcoin. If you're able to get one Bitcoin today, you, you'll be able to, you know, let's say in 10 years from now, you should be able to know um, that Bitcoin can actually hit 200, 300, or even $500,000. So the time is now, and I, I mentioned Cardano. Cardano, long-term, looking at it as a long-term project is something that will definitely hit a dollar, um, eight dollars just like ethereum did sometime in 2017 and so on so if you want to wear it just buy and hold in this these are the safest way but the thing is most often people have problem with this they get high blood pressure you know they get through off balance and you know they start panicking because you want to take your investment and it happens that you invested a hundred thousand dollars today and tomorrow you come in there and you see that everything is now your hundred thousand is now worth forty thousand you'll be so discouraged and when it keep happening like this out of fear people will keep you know selling out out of loss and at the end of the day and the funniest thing is that the moment you sell the next minute the price will start reversing back and then you will not be high and you know that is when people want to retaliate and thinking that they can fight the market you cannot fight the market you can't find the market. It will not be, oh, if, I, if I've known, I would have left it. Or if I've known, I would have sold it. If I've known, I would have done that. If you don't have patience, you will not be able to survive the crypto um, the market, which is very volatile. So with that being said, with all of this being said, you need to have a system that can actually be doing, um, generating daily profit for you, actually. And using Prime Bot, will help you go a long way. Leveraging on Prime Board will help you go a long way. The beautiful thing is, is that you don't need to read charts. You don't need to do technical analysis. You don't need um, to be there to monitor the charts to make sure that uh, you're making um, profit and so on. These things have, ha handles everything automatically for you. And this board costs 150 USDT to activate. It costs 150 years to activate and you can use it for one year. You use it for one year and then renew it subsequently. So if I go ahead and share my screen, let me just open the board and share with you. And the profit are not consistent, but it is something that is worth um, doing because even those who trade uh, manually, I do trade features. 
manually. Those who train manually don't get um, the results that this board can get for you most time. So you can see this account was activated sometime in October and um, you can be expecting, and my aim is to make sure that um, this account can be hitting $1,000 or even more every month. Before the end of this year, I should be able to uh, you know, push this account to the extent that it can be getting that amount of money every month. Why it is better is because you are trying this board now for a whole year for just 50 USDT. And in addition to that, I do send us signals I'm working in hand, I'm working closely with the team that are responsible for this um, project and they do we do analyze the market and then get signals which will send to members every day. So you don't need to come in here and then start thinking which of the coin will I trade, which one will I not trade. When those signals come, you can actually apply them. Then when you get your own signals, you can equally apply them and go ahead and trade them. So we send our signals for you, we guide you, we let you know when to activate um, um, a circle mode or single mode, when to adjust your profit and all of those things we guide you. Then in addition, these Zoom meetings where you can actually get your questions answered and be directed. So when you activate this bot, all you just need to do, once you sign off an account, once you log in, you want to come in here to where it says robot. Uh, you come in here to where it says robot here. You click on it. So when you click on robot, it brings you to this page. Now, when it brings you to this page, if you are going to activate this bot yourself, you will need to first fund your account with at least 50, 100, uh, so, um, 150 USDT, which will be in the four column here. And on the four column here, you just go ahead with the four selected down here. You go ahead and uh, click on activate, the activate button, activate now button here, and it will be activated. But when you send 50 USDT to the address that is provided for you to give this body a try, and we're going to fund your bonus account with 150 USDT as well. Then you now use that 150 USDT here, select here where it says fuel and change it to bonus. When you change it to bonus, you go ahead and click on activate now and your account will be activated. And as you can see, 150 USDT will take you for 365 days. In 300, in fact, in a month, you would have made this back this 150 years. In this case, because we are going to activate it for you, and um, between now, see, whenever you uh, this bonus, this promo ends, we are going to activate it for you for just 50 years. So you can actually, you would have made that 50 years in a month or in weeks or thereabout, depending on the amount of funds you have on your account. And the beautiful thing about this is that the fund, the capital you are trading with still remains yours because it is safe in your exchange. Even when the price drops, just like you're seeing some of this coin on my homepage here that is dropping, even when it drops, it is dropping, but I still have this coin, this token on my wallet. I can decide to pause this trade now and wait that, okay, when this coin that bought at um, 322, for instance, the average that bought at 322, when it gets to 400, I want to manually sell it. I can do that because the tokens, I still have access to this token that I bought and I can sell it whenever I want, I feel like. So after activating, now because this bot has no access to your Binance or to your Huobi funds, you will need to recharge this bot by recharging, going to profile. I send that in the group this afternoon, going to profile, you click on recharge, fund your account. That is the fuel that uh, this bot will be taking their own percentage from. Whatever profit you made there, it is shared 80, um, 20. 80% comes to you. And then the 20% that the board charge, that 20% is charged from the funds that you deposit into the board because that is the only funds that the board has access to. And that is the funds that you are seeing here, which is uh, this fuel right here. This is where they are actually um, get their own, um, their, their, their fees from. And it is on this fuel column as well. For those of you who want to be promoting, I, I see a lot of you doing a good job. You're already promoting and getting account activated. Once anybody activate this account with 150 years, it is you that have referred that person, you get 50, 75 years it is instantly. So I don't see any reason why somebody will say, okay, I don't have money to start. If you don't have money to start, activate it and spread the news. And definitely, the, believe me, the um, compensation plan for this, because as I get in the referral bonus of 75 years it is for every account that is activated, you equally stand a chance of getting 20, 30, 40, 50, up to 70 or 80% of the trading fee that this board charges from 
those you have referred. And the charges you get, the, these commissions you get from the trading fee is for life. For as long as those persons you have referred keep using the platform, you keep earning daily from it. So maybe one of these days we'll just sit down and talk about the affiliate program, spread the news and let people, there are a lot of persons who are out there who are actually looking for what, you know, to get money from, uh, for this Christmas, for this festive period, you can actually help them get started somewhere with the little that they have. So if you don't have the funds to get started to start trading immediately, you can actually start spreading the news. And whatever funds you make here on the board from the fuel, you can actually withdraw it to your wallet. And from your wallet, you can convert it to your Naira account. I don't intend to make this meeting too long today, so I will leave it here. For those of you who are having issues, who are private, um, chatting me privately, if you want, if you, you need us to clarify some of those things, if you don't understand the chat I sent to you, then you can ask your questions now and I'll take the questions from there. Um, so if there is anything you want me to throw light on, just go ahead, raise up your hand or use the chat section and I'll take those questions now. All right, um, Janet, kindly unmute yourself and make your input. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, ma'am. Okay, uh, please. I am, I am, a, I'm a greenhorn when it comes to cryptocurrency, but I have a few questions. I, I actually, you, I've been listening to you, although I don't understand everything you've said, but. I, I will just continue to attend the meetings until I understand. So I just want to ask, please, what is, um, what is it called now? Is it AirPod or, Air, I, I, can't, I can't remember now. AirDrop, AirDrop. Yes, what is AirDrop? And, and if you have about 50 AirDrops, what does that translate into? And, and so how do you proceed if you, if you have like 50 AirDrops? What, what, what does that mean, please, if you can um, explain to me? Thank you. Now, airdrops are when there is a new project in the market. On Binance or some of these exchanges we use, there are a lot of projects, a lot of tokens that are new tokens that are coming up in the market that you know go through this process. It's like a giveaway um, a program where they will okay. tell you, okay, if you trade um, social amount of money on our exchange, you get 50 airdrop of this particular token. Now, the 50 airdrop you are getting, the airdrop itself is not a token, but the token is either, let's say Binance is saying, if you trade BNB worth $5,000, you are going to get um, um, a 50 airdrop of Shiba Inu token. So when you get that particular token on your wallet, it is not left for you because before they do that, they can actually list that particular token for trading as well. So depending on the platform you are getting the airdrop from, some of the airdrops um, that are out there very popular are not from, from these uh, popular exchanges. So when you get that airdrop, it could be um, that the airdrop has not, the, that particular token has not been listed on any exchange for trading. So in that case, you need to hold on to those tokens that you have until maybe when a reasonable um, project or reasonable uh, result come out of it that, that have listed it because the only way you can exchange your air, uh, tokens that you've gotten through airdrop is it that using um, Uniswap or Panky Swap to swap those tokens to what to like USDT, Binance uh, coin and the rest. And then from the Binance coin, you can trade them. So whenever you get this airdrop, it is a particular token you are getting. And those tokens, you now ask, can, you, can it be traded on popular exchanges like Binance, like OKF? If yes, you can transfer your funds from wherever you got to this exchange and then trade them for <laughs> USDT, you can trade them for Bitcoin, you can trade them for any other coin and then sell them if you want to your bank account or just trade them to those coins and hold them. So airdrop is a way where, um, is a means of a new platform that is coming up that want to create awareness. They want a lot of persons to hold their coin. They give out this coin for free through a particular project asking you to complete a particular tax and then you get this coin for free. And when you get this coin for free, if they are listed on popular exchanges like OKS and the rest, you can go ahead and trade them for um, USDT, for dollar, and uh, or your, your Naira, depending on your choice of um, tokens you want to trade them for. I don't know if you get that. Okay, yes, but I have a follow-up question. Okay, now, I understand that this um, airdrops are tokens gotten for um, Ethereum, 
and that's I think I don't know that it is it that if I if I understand them well, they said the company has not started trading yet. So I don't know whether it's a company or a platform or whether it is Ethereum that has not started trading yet. But we are still waiting to see because I did it with my friend, and so um, she's still going to um, 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 give me feed me back later to let me know when we can um, start trading and the process. I I, I really don't understand all of this uh, grammar, all of these things, but I just did it, you know? So I thought maybe I could learn from you and all of that. That's why I decided to join. Um, yes. Now, what this, some of these projects are doing, if it is not on these popular exchanges, as I mentioned earlier, you may not be able to, you know, exchange it for any valuable um, currency. Airdrop is a means of a project because in most cases, uh, these projects are just on how many persons who have those tokens on their wallet. So when you got involved, they might have given you this token for free, but they still need to work on getting listed on a particular exchange or, or popular platform to be able to trade. So if they have not started trading yet, that means for now, those tokens that you earn are still valueless. You cannot use them. Until yeah. when that platform comes up and say, okay, uh, we are trading right now. I, 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 there was a platform I got involved early this year that I have uh, thousands of the tokens. And as I speak with you, because there is no reasonable, a reasonable project behind it yet, those tokens are not useful to me. I can't use them. I can't even remember when last I logged into that platform. So until they start mm. trading, you cannot, those tokens you've made, even when you are seeing the value as, you know, what thousands of dollars, you can't use them because there is, um, you know, there's no back of where you can actually trade them for money. So you just have to assess patient and wait until when it is traded or made live in a, a public platform or so. Okay, now, if I, if, I, if I want to buy one Ethereum now, what is the cost? Now, if you want to trade, if you want to buy one um, Bitcoin, one Ethereum right now, the price is at 4,625. You can see here on the screen, um, the Ethereum that is showing up on red here. If you can see my screen there somewhere. Okay. It's, um, Ethereum right now, the current price right now is worth 4,624. So if you now convert this to... Let me show you something. If you convert this to USDT, let me open up my KS account. Now, if you want to buy now, I believe you don't have any other crypto asset to buy this with, let's say like USDT or Bitcoin or, or any other token you want to use to buy Ethereum, right? Yes. So you will need to first buy what is called um, USDT. USDT is equivalent to a dollar. And we use mm -hmm. USDT in the crypto space to save our money. The market, just like, like I just showed you now, the uh, Ethereum is at 4,600. If I come back again, there's a real tendency that to drop from 4,600 to 4,100. You understand? Mm -hmm. But when you yeah. save your money in USDT, those up and down in the market does not affect USDT because USDT is like, it, it is called a stable coin. Stable coin in the sense that the volatility of the market does not affect it. If you have 10,000 USDT in your wallet today, come next year, even when Bitcoin gets up to 100,000, you will still have that 10,000 USDT. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we convert our local currency into USDT and then we use USDT to purchase any coin that we want to buy in the market. You understand? Mm. Now, to get one USDT, if you can see my screen, to get one USDT, these are, um, I, I made mention of this, those who do P2P trading, you know, they buy, you mm -hmm. send your money to their bank account and they send you this token, this is USDT. So one USDT, yeah. this person here is ready to sell at 565 Naira as at the current, uh, the time of making, you know, sharing the screen with you. The price mm -hmm. actually fluctuate. You see some persons are ready to sell at 568, some are ready to sell at 575 and so on. So this is depending on when you want to buy and the quantity you want to buy, you could be buying this uh, one USDT at 565, 580 or 583. So if you now calculate that, let's say we want to buy, we are working with 565 and then the current price of Ethereum right now is 4,624. If now times that by 565 Naira, so you are looking at 2.6 million naira to buy one Ethereum. Okay. Yeah, uh, but you must not buy one Ethereum. If you have 10,000 naira today, you can buy Ethereum worth 10,000 naira. That is the beauty oh, about mm -hmm. it. If you have 20,000 naira, you can buy Ethereum worth 20,000 naira. 
for several amount of money. You can be buying it gradually, um, and before you know it, you would have gotten one or two or three Ethereum, depending on what your your budget uh, or your, your you want to actually achieve with that. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Um, as I attend the, the Zoom meetings, uh, questions to be arising, I'll be asking. It's thank all right. you. It's all right. You're welcome. Aliu, can you just unmute yourself? Okay. Good evening, House. Good evening. Let me use the opportunity to commend you for your efforts. Please, one of my my first question. One of the challenge I'm facing is. I want to move from Binance to OP exchange where I have most of my fund. So in that process, so I try to stop some of the some of the trade that is presently going on in, in the bot. So I on that process I post some of them. I try to stop some of them, but unfortunately I feel I encounter some difficulty that is my first question so the second question is how to stop trade manually how to stop the trade manually and how can somebody be able to at least be able to see how it can be able to manage the trade are we together yeah i'm with you i'm with you Okay, so that is my that is my own that is my challenge I'm facing presently because I tried because I think I we communicated with you through normal chat this point. So I have to even contact the customer here to see how I can be able to how the problem can be sorted out. I think we they, I think they, they did a lot, but unfortunately one of the issues have not been resolved. I think maybe tomorrow I'm still going to continue with which the of, which customer. of the which of the issue that has not been resolved, right? Because presently there's one active trade that is going on, but oh, okay. I try to stop the something, but the something is not doing. It's not going. It's not. Now, it's not now, going. now, now. What what I want you to understand is this: if, as you can see on my screen here, you see this first token that is trading is minus eleven percent, right? Yes, sir. It means that if I sell this token right now at the current price, I am losing. Yes, sir. If I sell it at the current price, because uh, what I would do, let me open up that trade again. Where's the coin? This one. If I go ahead, the only way I can stop this now, when I pause it, if I click on pause, it doesn't mean that I've stopped the trade. The only way I can stop this now is by clicking where it says full liquidation at the middle here. If I click full liquidation, it will sell this coin or this particular token right now at the current price. And I'll be losing 10%. 10% could be $50, it could be $20, it could be whatever. I'll be losing that selling this particular token at this current price. So if you want to exchange or if you want to change from one, except you just want to take that risk by losing all of the money, depending on what the particular token that is remaining that is still active now, is it in profit or is at loss? Loss, loss. At how many percent? I can't, I can't remember. I said... Uh -huh. I back except in. you just want to lose that um, uh, trade and then change from that particular exchange to another one then you can go ahead and you know just click full liquidation to actually sell that and that will sell all of the trade but uh, uh, alternatively yeah. alternatively you can just come in here to setting normally when we take that trade we make it circle right we put the mode the invest mode here we put it in circle the circle means that when he buys and take profit the first time, it should automatically buy again, even while you sleep. If you want to, at times you sleep and wake up and you see that the trade has taken place like 10 times and you have to make profit in that. So that is what the second mode is. But using the single mode, it means that when he sells that first time and make profit, it should automatically end that trade. Then you can come back again to manually do it. So what I will advise you to do, if you can exercise patience for that coin to go, but if the percentage is too much and you want to you know, just close it now, you can just go ahead and close it at loss and go ahead and switch your exchange. Okay. But, but just follow with the cost market, they should be able to take up. But these are some of the things I just want you to understand that if any trade is currently ongoing like this and you want to close that trade, then you'll be closing it at loss. It's not as if you cannot close it, you'll be closing it at loss. 
But if it is in profit, let's say it is five minutes, five percent profit, ten percent, or even like this Bitcoin that is ninety-two percent, you can go ahead and close it, and you will be at gain. And once you close it, automatically it's end that trade, and you cannot switch your binding to the next one. But make sure that everything with this current exchange is um, cancelled. And once it's cancelled, then you cannot switch to the other one before you can do it. So follow the customer care tomorrow. They should be able to fix your. Yeah, that, 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 that is it. All right. Because even because that is what's even delay me is that one particular that buying this next thing delay me. I want to change, but because of that single trade, one single trade that is stopping the whole process. Then go ahead and risk it by just um clicking on full liquidation, and that will take. The when, I try to, when I try to do something, something is not even responding because it's telling me system error. System error. Okay, it means it's because of the ongoing upgrade, uh, but the customer test should be able to help you fix that. Okay, sir. All right. Okay, sir. So, sir, please, I don't know this, uh, this, uh, this present recording, how are we going to get it? Are you going to upload it in YouTube or what? Oh, uh, I will make this it a, uh, yeah, I'll make it available on YouTube. Okay, that is going to be good. Right. So, thank you very much. I commend your effort. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, Favor, can you unmute yourself? Okay, I saw somebody's hand up. I thought um, the person is still available. Uh, I'm still up. Good evening. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Um, please, my question is based on the bots now. The thing is, some of us are not really into trading that much. We just want to go into it at least. Let's let's be able to you know meet up with the changing world. So based on that, now the bots you said you'll be uh, for some time you have been dropping them. Um, what do they call it? Signals. Be dropping signals, yeah. So my question is, for how long are you going to be dropping those signals? Is it going to be for the rest of the year? Or... And secondly, I would like to make a suggestion. Sorry, please. I would like to make a suggestion, please. If the team can just have a kind of uh, a tab on the app where yeah? signals will be dropped that in case of maybe somehow somebody else wouldn't um you know be in the group from reason so anytime the person can log into the the um the bot yeah? you can be able to assess those signals right from the bot instead of um taking those signals from the whatsapp and then thank you so much all right um Hello. yeah 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 favor i got you i got your question i got your suggestions oh. but one thing i want you to understand is that the signals are provided um by uh, some person uh, you know, who are working with the organization with the company with prime board but since you say it's a suggestion mm -hmm. i will probably suggest it to to the um to the team maybe in the future they will be able to implement that in the board as well you understand Going forward, they should be able to implement that and make it work. And um, the other question you say? I said, for how long will you be providing those? Um... For as long as I keep using this platform, for as long as I keep using this platform, those signals will be coming up. Yeah, thank you. All right. And uh, um, Mr. Peter, you, you are asking of uh, you are asking of how to get the offline or uh, offline wallet. Offline wallet are made, um, some of those wallets, uh, you can get them at less than um, 100 euro, uh, euro or thereabout. And then maybe plus the, the shipping fee, um, plus the shipping fee, depending on your location. Um, the uh, wallet I would recommend is Trezo. You can get um, Trezo from directly from the Trezo website and they can ship it down to you wherever you are. Um, less than 100 euros should be able to do that for, for you. Um, um, Trezos are available. There are a lot of offline wallets, but they, they are not sold in Nigeria yet. You can get them and then it is shipped to you and you can start using them. Um, then please, somebody, uh, somebody saying that she help to understand how to calculate um, the total profit plus the capital is very simple. Total profit plus your capital, let's say you started trading with $1,000 and then the board is telling you that you have made $100 at the end of the day. It means that when you go to your board, when you go to your exchange, you should be able to see a hundred and a thousand and hundred dollars there. 
But in most cases, it will not be that accurate because you still have some trades that are pending. Mm -hmm. And it is even worse when your trades um, are, let's say, minus 10%, uh, minus 2%. Mm -hmm. And in most cases, you see that that minus 2%, you are losing $10. So out of your $1,100, you may be having $1,090. Then when the coin, the particular pending coins actually trade, when they trade, when it, it actually um, sell out for profit, then you see everything reflecting in your, in your, in your wallet, in your exchange. And to understand this, for those of you who have, you know, still doubtful about it, to understand this, I would just advise that if you have any trade that is ongoing, click on the trade, put it on single mode, and let all of them single out. Once they sell and single out, go back to your Binance, check the balance you have, the total balance you have in USDT, you will see that the profit is actually reflecting there. Because the bot, the fact that the bot gives you the update on the profit you make doesn't mean that the profit is in the board. The profit is still in your Binance. But they're just giving you those calculations for recording purpose to let you know that, okay, you have made this amount, you have made this amount. This is, you know, the fee we collected from it and so on. So all of those things are, you know, in your board. But when in your Binance account or your Huobi account, but when you still have some trade that are not in profit yet, you may not have up to that 1,100 or depending on what the profit is. So please take note of that so that you don't get confused on that. And uh, please, um, I don't know your name. You don't use your name here. Kindly you unmute yourself. V2033, can you unmute yourself? All right. I thought you were raising hand to make an input. Hello? V yeah, hello, go, ahead. Hello. Hello. go ahead. Good, ev Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah. Th thanks for the presentation. I really commend your effort. Thank you. So well, my question is, uh, in your video that you, you upload on YouTube on how to trade um, those signals I used to send on futures trading, there's something I want to ask. Um, what's uh, the difference between buy limit and buy stop? Because sometimes you used to say it in the signals that you normally send, you say there's it's different between buy limit and buy stop. So I, I'm a little bit confused with that. Okay. okay. So just um, let me open up my, my token and then give you those options. So when I say buy stop or buy limit, it simply yes. means you are buying a, um, um, you are buying with um, is, is a limit order. If it is not instant execution, if it is not instant okay. execution, they are all limit order. Yeah. You understand? So okay. now when I open up my, my OKS account, let's say, let me go ahead and open up the um, Fisher Street. Let's say we want to do BTC USDT. Let it load up. Uh, okay, I think I can explain that with this. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know why the these tokens are not loading up. Okay. Now, whether you are doing spot or you are doing fissions or whatever, you always see the, 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 the market mm -hmm. orders here. Now we have buy limit and then on the OKS, we have advanced limit order, we have market order, we have stop order, then we have trigger order. Now, the difference between buy stop and buy limit mm -hmm. is with a buy stop order, you set mm -hmm. the price. Hmm? With a buy stop order, you set the price higher than the current market price. But with okay. a buy limit, with a buy limit order, the limit price is always lower than the current market price or higher. So it is in both ways. You can either set the limit market order lower or higher. You understand? It all depends. For instance, okay. if you go to sell, if you go to sell and you're using limit order, you can decide to sell when the price is lower or you decide to sell when the price is higher. It, the same thing happens to the, uh, to the buy tab. You can to decide to buy when the, the price is 
higher or when it is lower. That is what limit order is. So you go ahead and set up where you say price. You can now this particular coin now is at seven dollars. I can go ahead and set up that I want to buy when it is um, eight dollars or I want to buy when it is five dollars. You understand? Okay. That is the okay. limit order. But with the buy stop, the limit the order price is always higher. It is not both ways like a limit order. Okay. Yes, so those are just the difference. So you, that one has a specific price that will always be higher. But in this other case, you could set the price um, lower. For instance, if I set a limit order to you to buy Bitcoin at $62,000, you can decide to set it that you want to buy. Uh, that, these are my own personal opinion, actually. But you can decide, maybe you probably understand how the market works. You can decide to set it to buy at, uh, five, at let's say, 61800 or 61700 do you understand? But when it is a buy yeah. order, it is always, um, the, the price is always higher. I don't know if you oh. get that. Oh, okay, yeah. But, I, bo I get but bo both of them are limit order. It means that whatever price, limit order meaning that you are specifying your own price at which you want to. But if it is market order, if it is, if, if the signal you see there is, says instant execution, it means you are using the market order. Market order means immediately you press buy, your position will be placed and your trade will be ongoing with the current market price. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I get this. Okay, that means in, in buy limit, I can possibly set the, the price to higher, more or than low, the, uh, higher than the market price, price or, or lower than the market price, yeah. Buy stop, that one is always- Always higher, higher than, than the market price, yes. Okay, that's the difference. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah, I got it, thank you. Hello, yes. sir. Yes, go One ahead. Thing, I, I, I forgot. I, there's something I just, this uh, question this person asked now. I want to ask uh, if I'm in a, in a trade, in a futures trade. So I open a position, then I put my stop loss. Then after some time, the trade is going in my, in my direction. I'm making profit. Maybe I long the, the markets and the, the trade is going up, the price of the the currency is going up. So I so is there a way that I can move my stop loss <laughs> to entry point? Yes. Yes, you can you can do that. Now I don't have any particular want me to risk um, I don't know why this is not loading. I don't have any particular um, trade ongoing because the Bitcoin um, trading that I sent I actually canceled that when Bitcoin was 30, 63. Actually, the signal I sent was enter the market at 62, which mm. was triggered. And then the market went back to 6,400 and then came up again. So once it hit 60, 63, instead of allowing it to go, when I, I noticed that the price were you know, changing direction, I had to cancel that trade. I, mean, I had to close the trade in profit instead of waiting to lose that. I don't know why my app is not loading, but I wanted to show you how that works. Um, now, how it works is that once I have a trade that is ongoing, once I go ahead and click on trade, let me see if I search this um, BTC. Okay, BTC Perpetual. Go ahead and click on it. Um, now, the, the, I, I actually close this trade at 63. Thousand or there about now it has dropped down to 62,800. For the sake of this, let me just go ahead and select market order. Let me just demonstrate something here for you. And um, the market order, let me use 10% of my, of my capital. And um, should I long or short this market? Let's check. Okay, let me go ahead and long. Let me just long the market. So if I go ahead and click on long here, I get this confirmation. This is where I'm now putting okay. my take profit and my stop loss. You understand? So I say, I want to take profit for the sake of this I'm trade. Getting. Let me say I want to take profit at 63,000. Um, 
and then I can put my stop loss at uh, 60,000. If I don't want to put stop loss, I can just go ahead and uncheck where it says stop loss. If I don't want to put take profit, I can just go ahead and check uh, where it says um, take profit and stuff like that. So if I go ahead, it will enter with the market price, with the current market price, and then I'll go ahead and click on confirm. Okay. When I click on confirm, you see that I'm in position and right here is showing that uh, I'm actually losing. And the money that I've raised for this is um, the margin here, which is margin, you know, now margin ratio. Where is the margin? Uh oh, sorry. Is actually BTC perpetual. He did now. The difference between this is that I'm trading Bitcoin, not Bit uh, Bitcoin USDT. Oh, this thing, this one is BTC USD. BTC, exactly, and then it's using my Bitcoin to long the market. You get now uh, to actually adjust your stop loss. The reason why I took this trade is to show you how to adjust your stop loss. Please kindly mute yourself, so that I will not be hearing myself. Now, to adjust your stop loss, all I need to do is click on the stop order that is by the left hand side there. Can you see where it says stop order? Stop. Yeah, if you can see stop the blue, the blue icon somewhere where after available position zero BTC or thereabout, you see stop order. Okay. Have you seen it? I'm trying to check on the app. No, 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 no. Look at my screen. Look at my screen. It is I'm me that at, is. Hey, I'm looking at the screen right here. I'm Can not... you see where it say close, stop order, close? I think I have this marker here. So. Can you see this? Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have seen uh -huh. it. Yes. So that is what I'm actually referring to. So I'll go ahead and click on. I want to adjust my take profit or my stop loss. Yes. You understand now adjusting that stop loss means that the first stop loss that I added, if I come here to open position, when I come in here to open position, the yeah. take profit and stop loss that I added is in this stop order where it says stop yeah. order. So I click on stop order. This is my take profit and stop loss position. Yes. So yes. I'll go ahead and click and cancel this first. So I'll go ahead okay. and cancel it. Once I cancel it, I will now come back to the position. I want to adjust my take profit and the stop loss, right? Yes. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click on the stop order. When I click on the stop order, this time around, I'm not adjusting the take profit. It is only the stop loss I want to adjust. So I'll cancel the take profit. And then I'll go ahead and adjust the stop loss, the, the stop loss. Meaning that since I'm in profit, I will adjust the stop loss either to my entering price or I will adjust it to a higher price that will still put me in profit. Yes. Okay. Understand? If my entry price was $62,000 and yes. Bitcoin right now is at 63, instead of putting it at 62, I'll put it at 62,500. Yeah, I get it. So that if the price comes down, I will not completely lose. I'm equally making profit from it. You understand? So you go ahead and put in the price here. Once you put in the price, you can select to take profit as 50% or you take profit at 100%. When you take profit at any of these percentage, whether 50 or 20 or there, but it means that 20% of the funds that you are betting will be taken while the remaining one will still be running on the trade. But if you use 100%, it means that it will cancel it, um, um, uh, it to cancel the entire trade. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. So when okay. you hit that target, it cancels the entire trade. So that is how that works. I don't know if you get that. Yes, I get it. I get it. All right. So no. I'll go ahead and close this trade because I'm not sure. Let me just close it in profit. And that is it. All okay. Right. Mm -hmm. I have to close the, the initial one I set, initial stop loss I set. Yeah, if you're in profit, you just close the initial stop loss and then come and adjust the stop loss to the new one you want to set. Yes. Yes, I get it. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> all right thank you guys and then we'll meet again tomorrow same time um just try to be available when the time for that meeting comes and uh, do have a wonderful night rest <laughs>